We're going to do the exact same thing for all the solutions. Again, the process is very similar. You're going to solve 4 sine cosine squared equals 3, divide by 4, divide by 4, cosine squared of theta equals 3 over 4, square root, square root, cosine of, ah, cosine squared of theta, no, sorry, cosine of theta equals plus or minus the square root of 3 over 2. Now, when we go and look at the unit circle, here's 0 to 2 pi. But what they're saying is all the solutions, meaning I can keep on adding. I can keep on going around and around the circle. I could also now, as you mentioned, do negative angles. So if we know that at pi over 6, I have square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. Now, watch. Here's pi over 6, right? Pi over 6. If I add 2 pi, what angle is that? Pi over 6 plus 2 pi, which would be 12 pi over 6, which is 13 pi over 6, right? And that's all like, and then, could I add 2 pi again? Sure, why not, right? That's going to be now 25 pi over 6, right? And you guys kind of see a problem. I can keep on adding 2 pi as many times as possible, right? All right, so I could say all the solutions is theta equals pi over 6 plus 2 pi n. Now again, I'm going to show you the general idea of this and then show you how we simplify this. The same thing can be done over here. So if I take this point and reflect it, I know this point is negative square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half, has the same reference angle, which is pi over 6, right? because it, it's plus or minus. So we could say theta equals 5 pi over 6. That's what that angle is. It's pi over 6 short of pi. right? We already did that. And then could I just do the same thing? Could I say, here's 5 pi over 6, add 2 pi, add 2 pi, and keep on doing that? So I could say plus 2 pi n. Then the other two angles is right here and right there, because they have the same reference angle of pi over 6. Um, and then, so that angle we said was 7 pi over 6 plus 2 pi n. And then we could say 11 pi over 6 plus 2 pi n. Now, that is correct, but I, you're never going to see it as an answer choice, as well as it doesn't help you with these two problems. So we want to try to simplify this, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Let me just erase this real quick. I'm going to move. OK. Mm -hmm. So here's all of our solutions, right? They all have the same reference angle, pi over 6. Correct? Now, rather than saying this angle plus 2 pi, this angle plus 2 pi, this angle plus 2 pi, this angle plus 2 pi. You guys kind of see that's like a lot of things to write, right? It is. So what we could do, though, is another way of saying, we could say, why don't we say plus pi over 6, instead of going all the way around, if I just add, if I take this angle and just add pi, do I get to the next answer? Yes. So basically, pi over 6 plus pi takes me now to 7 pi over 6. Yes, yes, yes. And then guess what? If I add pi again, hey, it takes me now to 13 pi over 6, right? So by adding to taking this angle and just adding pi, I'm now covering two of the angles because it's always going to hit them. Or even if I go in a negative direction, it's always going to get those two. So the simplified answer, which you'd see on your test, like on a multiple choice test, would be pi over 6 plus pi n. It basically, pi over 6 plus pi n basically replaces these two. So it's kind of nice. And then I can do the same thing with the other one. If you look at the other one, if I say, here's 5 pi over 6, and if I just add pi to it, hey, it takes me to the other answer. And if I add pi to that, it takes me back. So my other answer, I could say theta equals pi over 6 plus pi n. That is a simplified answer. If you had a free response and you gave me those answers, that's correct. I wouldn't mark you down. But that's like simplified. It's like writing a fraction as 4 over 2. Well, all right, do not get smart with me. Yes, you are correct. Thank you. <laughs> it's 5 over 6. But it's like, you know, it's, it's the same answer, but it's, not, it's like having a fraction, right, writing your answer is 2 over 4. Well, yeah, 2 over 4 is correct, but we simplify to 1 half, right? And you're going to see 1 half would be as an answer choice. Same thing, you'd see this as an answer choice. So as long as you can identify that, that's fine. Make sense? All right. What I'd like you guys to do 